when you notice you have a puncture, do not continue driving your Toyota, as this can rapidly damage both the tire and wheel. Stop your car safely and away from traffic if possible. If needed, set up a warning triangle and turn on the hazard lights. Apply the parking brake so the car doesn't accidentally move. Locate and examine the puncture. Don't use the repair kit if it's larger than 4 mm in diameter, if the wheel rim is damaged or if the tyre has been flat or at low pressure for an extended period. Move the vehicle so that the puncture is positioned as high as possible in the top half of the tyre. If a nail or screw is in the tyre, a common occurrence, do not remove it. Make sure also that the air valve is positioned in the top half of the tyre. This will help stabilise the bottle of sealant you'll be using. The Toyota Tire Repair Kit is located in the trunk under the false floor. The kit consists of a compressor for reinflating the tire, a bottle of sealant you'll use to fill the hole, and warning stickers. First, apply a sticker to the wheel to show there's sealant in the tire. Apply another to the A pillar to remind you to change the wheel at the next opportunity. Remove the valve cap and screw the sealant bottle tightly on the valve. Then, remove the cap from the end of the sealant bottle. Unravel the hose at the back of the compressor and screw it tightly onto the sealant bottle. Unravel the wiring connected to the compressor and plug it into the auxiliary socket inside the car. For a non-hybrid vehicle, start the engine. For a hybrid vehicle, have the ready light on. Turn on the compressor. It should take no more than 10 minutes to inflate the tyre to an acceptable level. Then, switch off the compressor and press the yellow button to test the pressure in the tyre. It's important to check your owner's manual for the correct pressure level for your vehicle. If the tyre does not reach this, you'll need to call a recovery service. If the pressure is OK, remove the sealant bottle from the valve and reinstall the valve cap. You then need to drive about 5 kilometres as the sealant spreads itself around and over the punctured area. Drive with caution because the tyre is not yet fully reinflated. Then, stop and re-examine the tyre. If it appears damaged, you should call a recovery service. If it remains inflated and looks OK, refit the kit and continue to inflate the tyre to the pressure listed in the owner's manual. The car is now safe to drive, but don't exceed 80 km per hour. And accelerate, brake and corner gently. The repair is only a temporary measure. Go to a Toyota repairer as soon as you can. There, you'll receive expert assistance and the best possible care for your Toyota, ensuring that your driving experience remains safe and pleasurable.